Have you ever wondered what a day on another planet would be like? What about a planet that's not in our solar system? Hello space fans, welcome to another edition of Space Fan News. Wow, you guys are absolutely amazing. Last week we reached an amazing plateau, 2 million followers on Google+. Both Tony and I are absolutely ecstatic to be a part of a great community of space fans from across the globe. So to celebrate this, we want to focus on you, the space fans. We're asking for you to take a space fan selfie and share it out on your stream so we can feature you in a new video. We've already received a lot so far and I can't wait to see what faces of space fans we have out there. It doesn't matter if you use Facebook, Google+, or Twitter, using the hashtag SpaceFanSelfie will let you be the star of a future video. Seriously guys, you are all amazing. Thank you for all of the comments and the shares and the upvotes. You, this wouldn't be what it is without you. 2014 seems to be the year of the exoplanet with in February 715 new confirmed exoplanets announced by the Kepler team to just in April we're finding the first Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting in the habitable zone. Now scientists from the European Southern Observatories have been able to calculate how long a day is on an exoplanet. It's fairly simple for us to calculate the length of a day on a planet within our solar system. As long as you have a strong enough telescope, you can actually observe the rotation rate of them. Observing this on exoplanets tends to be a little bit difficult though, since their discovery and observations are on transit methods. So that's just when they move in front of a star and the light levels from that star just dips down a little bit on that graph. There are, however, some close exoplanets that can be observed directly and one in particular was observed using the Very Large Telescope. The planet is called Beta Pictoris b and is around 63 light years away and has been observed to have a day lasting nearly 8 hours. Now that might not seem like a big deal, it's only 3 times faster than that of Earth, but we need to take into consideration its size which is 16 times larger than that of our planet. This means at the equator, this planet is going at 100,000 kilometers per hour, which is definitely fast, but I think we need to do some comparisons to bring this all into perspective. The velocity of Earth's spins at its equator is around 1,700 kilometers per hour, with Jupiter's being around 47,000 kilometers per hour, but it's also 300 times more massive than Earth. With Beta Pictoris b being 3,000 times more massive than the Earth, we can see that there is a direct relation between the mass of this planet and the rotation speed of it. There's also something else we need to consider. This exoplanet is very young. If Earth was an 85-year-old person, this planet would be three months old. We also know that the Earth is slowing down over time because of the tidal forces that the Moon affects on it. So it's very possible that Beta Pictoris b will eventually slow down as well as other objects interact with it. As we observe more and more exoplanets at higher and higher resolution, more details like the rotation rate will be known. This will give us further insight into what happens during star system formation and its evolution. I just can't wait. Finally, Space Fan News is teaming up with astronomers from across the world to celebrate one thing that we all have in common, our night sky. On the 9th of May, wherever you're at on this planet, take some time to go outside and just look up. Observe the heavens with space fans across the world. Over a dozen countries are already involved with official Sidewalk Star Party events and there are more to come. Links to the Facebook and Google events are linked below in the description or you can go to knowthecosmos.com slash one sky for more details. Well, that does it for this episode, space fans. Thank you all for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, keep looking up.